Fine, they didn't ask me a bunch of questions where I was at. All that booze. Y'all don't worry about me. I just gotta find me another car. Jerry Johnston, aka Monza, is a true car fanatic and one of the senior streetcar racers in Oklahoma. With more than three decades in the street racing scene and unmatched racing skills, he's become a fan favorite and a household name thanks to his appearances on the popular reality TV show Street Outlaws. He drives a 1972 Chevrolet Camaro Rally Sport, which he named Sinister Split Bumper. Before that, he used to drive a Chevy Monza, hence the nickname Monza. In today's video, we look at Jerry Johnston's street racing career and his time on Street Outlaws. We'll also be looking at whether he'll ever make it to the top of the list ever again. Stick around and watch this one until the end, as this is going to be an interesting one. Jerry Johnston has always stayed away from talking too much on camera. He does the talking by smirking his opponents on the racetrack. He's pretty confident about his street racing skills even after three decades on the racetrack. Unfortunately, there's very little we know about his personal life, including his life before Street Outlaws. Johnston has, however, mentioned that he's always loved cars. He's been fascinated with fast cars from an early age and has been tinkering with them since. While he earned the name Monza, racing with a Chevy Monza, his dream car has always been the 70-73 Rally Sport Split Bumper Camaro. Johnston has also owned several project cars in the past. These include the 1968 El Camino, a 1970 Nova and a 1971 Challenger. Johnston acquired the Sinister Split Bumper from Street Outlaws co-star Joe Woods, aka Dominator. Jerry revealed that the Camaro was just a shell of its former self. However, he and his team turned it into a worthy race car. When it comes to street racing, Jerry has the experience, which is why he's so well respected on Street Outlaws. He began racing in the 80s and in 2006 he won the Mod Street, a race car competition where he raced Mustangs with Chevy Motors. This was his first big race and the win boosted his confidence and paved his career path. Jerry returned to Mod Street the following year and won the championship again. Jerry's ability to remain calm and confident has helped him conquer street racing. His talent for judging situations correctly has helped him rise the ranks of street racing in Oklahoma. Jerry Monza's immense experience in street racing meant he bagged an appearance on Street Outlaws during the show's debut season in 2013. He's been a part of Street Outlaws since, beating his fellow racers and rising the ranks of the list. One of Monza's most notable wins comes during the second season of Street Outlaws when he took on Doc in a grudge race that had been years in the making. The two had a long-standing rivalry and Monza was determined to come out on top. In a thrilling race, Monza pulled ahead and took the win, much to the delight of his fans. However, an impressive win for Monza came during the eighth season of Street Outlaws when he took on Ryan Martin in a race for the ages. With both drivers pushing their cars to the limit, it was anyone's race to win. But in the end, Monza's driving skills proved to be too much for Ryan and he took home the victory. The win against Ryan Martin was probably one of the most important wins because it came a few seasons after Jerry met with a horrible accident a few seasons earlier. You see, in the fifth season of Street Outlaws, Jerry was involved in a serious accident while racing Chuck. Chuck was coming after his position as number six on the list. Jerry, on the other hand, was stuck at sixth as he was upgrading his car with a turbo engine in order to make it more powerful and Jerry would have to fight to keep the car straight. His team, therefore, had to install rear wheel steering to ensure that the car went straight at super high speeds. However, the rear wheel steering meant the car's rear end would weave from side to side. Before heading to the racetrack, Jerry had spent a lot of money on upgrades and after he and his team worked on the car for so long, Jerry was satisfied and ready to race. Jerry was however unaware of what was going to unfold on race night. On race night, Jerry pulled up to Chuck's 1989 Ford Fox Ford Body Mustang Death Trap. The lights went out and the duo raced to the finish line. Jerry was significantly slower than Chuck but somehow managed to stay first. Everything went well until he tried to bring the car to a stop. Chuck deployed the parachute to slow down his car. Jerry was, however, unable to deploy his parachute and had to rely solely on the Camaro's brakes. The car twisted and turned into a barrel roll, spinning almost four times before it finally came to a stop. Jerry was okay, but his Camaro was not. Jerry complained about his neck being sore. He also had to spend a ton of money to get the car fixed and ready to return to the show. Although Jerry seemed fine after the race, it left him with a severe back pain which was eventually fixed after he underwent surgery. We have no idea if Jerry's accident was a contributor to his injuries but it could be a factor. 
As for Street Outlaws, Jerry Monza continues to remain a member and will not be leaving the show or street racing anytime soon. Fans should be excited to hear this news. He could possibly make a return to the next season of Street Outlaws. What are your thoughts? Are you excited for Street Outlaws' this new season? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.